It's a new year and I have a tail now. Because it's about time that I embraced my Zilla heritage. Stop oppressing me. I also have goggles. On my head. Because I don't know, it helps my hair see better, I guess. Hello, I'm Greg Zilla, and welcome to Kinda Reviews, where I review a video game, but only kinda. And today I must come clean with you folks. I like Sonic the Hedgehog. Woohoo! Jesus! Yep, I like Sonic. I can't help it, he was my childhood, man. The Sonic games were my favorites back in the 90s, and in fact, Sonic 2 was my very first game ever. I mean, how could I not like him? I don't think it's just nostalgia, though. I legitimately think the original Sonic games on the Genesis are very good, even by today's standards. Sonic has a very unique set of physics, and he's much more momentum-based than most platformers at the time. It takes some time for him to reach top speed, but that just makes it all the more satisfying when you do. Getting him up to speed and bouncing on robots is a ton of fun just because of how cool it feels to control him. On top of that, the art direction is great too. It's cartoony and fun for kids, but it's not obnoxiously cutesy or anything. It's actually got some very stylish and surreal aesthetics that even as an adult I still enjoy. Everything has a really neat geometric and man-made look to it, even the natural foliage and stuff. And that design choice really helps it stand out as a totally unique visual experience. And don't even get me started on them tunes, yo! Crank the jams, man! But those are the old games. Everything after that, well, it's, uh, it's, it's been a ride. There's been some good ones, some bad ones, some... what the shit? But rather than go through all of them, I thought I'd review the most recent main Sonic game and see what the series is up to. So, without further echidna... Oh no! Let's take a look at Sonic Lost World! Whoa! So, the game begins with a pretty nice-looking intro cutscene, and it keeps things simple. Just a classic scene of chasing the bad guy, and the essential characters are all here. You got Sonic, Tails, Eggman, Dumb, everyone's accounted for. But then Tails finds a thing! This thing. What is this thing? That must be the Lost Hex! Ooh, the Lost Hex. That sounds interesting. What's that, Tails? Less looking, more landing! Alright, I can land this, but it's gonna be bumpy. Hmm. Alright, so the story is off to a rip-roaring start. Tails is all like, Look, it's the Lost Hex! Like he already knows what the Lost Hex is, but he never explains what the Lost Hex is, so we don't know what the Lost Hex is, and the game never elaborates on what the Lost Hex is. So for all intents and purposes, it's just the thing that we're gonna be jumping around on for the next few hours. The story isn't exactly winning any awards so far, but for now let's put that aside and get to the gameplay. Okay, where the heck do I begin? Let's see, well, remember how I said the classic games had a nice sense of momentum that made Sonic satisfying to control? He had a real sense of weight, and interacting with the environment felt very natural and exciting. Sonic Lost World, no. This game's controls are beyond comprehension! First off, you have basically two speeds, walking and running, and pretty much nothing in between. You walk with the control stick and hold down the RUN button to run. They gave Sonic a run button. I guess they were trying to give players a greater sense of control, since playing as a fast character in a 3D space can make it hard to be precise, but... Oh boy, it does not work. It pretty much negates the reason I found Sonic fun to play in the first place. It makes everything feel so rigid and binary and awkward. You don't really use the environment to gradually build up speed or anything. Sonic just sort of goes. And it feels lame. And the run button doesn't even make Sonic easier to control. If anything, it makes him feel sloppier. When you try and change direction while you're running, you'll often just totally change speeds. Like, look here, I'm running to the right, and when I turn to go forward, Sonic slows down. This game does weird stuff like that all the time, and it just feels unnatural. This game controls like... it, 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 it controls like Sonic Underground looks. I think that's the best way to put it. So, the basic movement controls are total bupkis. Great start. What else can Sonic do? You can use the triggers to spin dash, which sends him blasting along at a slightly faster pace. Again, it's weird because it feels really stiff and mechanical, and the environment doesn't really play into his speed. He's either going or he's stopped. I guess it's kind of fun to keep it going for long distances, and it's reasonable that you sacrifice some control while gaining some speed. A fair trade, I suppose. But there's only like two levels that are open enough for the spin dash to even be useful anyway. But hey, you can also do this. <laughs> 
You also have the homing attack, and this time around, Sonic can lock onto several enemies at once for taking them out more efficiently. Or he can charge up several consecutive attacks on a stronger enemy. Every time you do it, it sends you bouncing straight upwards instead of carrying your momentum forward, which is really unsatisfying. Though to be fair, pretty much every 3D Sonic game has this problem. Remember those balloons in Sonic Colors and Generations? Why can't the homing attack be like that all the time? That's way more fun. And in addition to the homing attack, there's the new kick attack. It's pretty much the same as the homing attack, except it sends enemies flying into other enemies instead of blowing them up on the spot. Some enemies can only be destroyed with the homing attack, while others require the kick attack, and it's often really unclear which enemies require which, so it just clutters up the moveset even more. And also, the Wisps from Sonic Colors are here, because... <laughs> the biggest new addition to Sonic's repertoire is the parkour system, which lets him run on walls when you hold the run button. And it is putrid! This has got to be the least graceful parkour system I've ever seen in a game. Just like everything else, it hasn't a care in the world about how fast you're going. You just hold the run button and the walls will make you do what they want you to do. Whether you've got a big running start or you just jump onto a wall from a standstill, Sonic don't care. You'd think that the faster you run at a wall, the higher you could run up it. But no, it feels completely scripted. Exact same speed and height every time. It feels awful. Running sideways on a wall is a little bit more fun since it makes you go faster, but it's the same situation. Every time you do it, it's the same, no matter how you approach the wall in the first place. And then there's the little sideways sidle jump that's just, I, what? That's not physics! The core gameplay is incredibly clunky, and so it feels like all these extra moves were just added to hide the fact that the game doesn't play well to begin with. But all the extra stuff just makes it feel even clumsier, because it's building off of a weak foundation. It's just a mess, plain and simple. Whew. What do you guys think of this new background? Pretty spiffy, huh? Well hey, check this out. The all-new, customizable, kinda review studio. I can put all sorts of backgrounds on this thing. You got your Sonic, your Mario, your Pac-Man, your Dark Souls, yeah, 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 your Dark Souls, your Mega Man, your Pokemon. Anyway, that's the gameplay, pretty much summed up. How about we get back to that story? The story has at least got to be good, right? You, fat one, go take care of that blue pest. Hi. Who are you calling fat? You. Uh... Basically, the story's about Eggman trying to take over the world by sucking the life out of it with a new machine. And to do that, he employs the help of his new fellow villains, the Deadly Shit. I mean, the Deadly I Hate Them. I mean, the Deadly Six. Bar none, my least favorite villains in the entire series, and that is saying something. Worse than Mephilus, worse than Black Doom, worse than- well, they're just bad. They disgust me. They grind my gears. They curl my tail. Ah, what the fuck? All six of them are just the most bare-bones, tired, overused cartoon stereotypes you can think of. There's the serious leader. One by one, your friends are falling. Soon, you will be all alone. <laughs> the dumb fat one. Hey, I forgot the mustard. I'll be right back. The crazy one. Bring it on and I'll rip it up. <laughs> Win or lose, ours. The old wise one. I shall prepare for you a lesson in respect. A painful lesson. The sad one. Sigh. Everything seems so pointless. And of course, the girl. The last time we met, you ruined my nail art. Now I have to reapply a whole new coat. Oh my gosh, are you serious? Mm -hmm. I am so, so sorry. Oh, well, in that case. Oh no, what I meant to say is, I'm so sorry that you have nothing more important to do in life. Oh, you're gonna pay for that. As soon as my nails dry. So, a, a bunch of crap happens throughout the story. Like, Sonic destroys the device Eggman was using to control the Deadly Six, and they turn on him and take over all of Eggman's robots, so Sonic and Eggman have to work together to stop them. And Tails gets really bitchy about the whole situation. Before we start destroying each other, let's remember why we're working together. Okay, please remind me. Tails, we need Eggman to shut down his machine. And you don't trust me to do it. What? No! I trust you, Tails. It's just that... No, you don't. You trust Eggman more. You know how much that bites? I guess they were trying to add some more dramatic character interaction to spice things up a bit, but the arguing just comes off as forced and annoying. And on top of that, the story is pretty much incapable of drama anyway because the tone is just so juvenile. 
Going back to why I still enjoy the Genesis games, part of it is that their tone is kid-friendly, but it's not juvenile. Yeah, you're a blue cartoon rodent fighting robots to stop a fat guy, but it's presented in a way that feels like people of any age could enjoy it. There's no lame dialogue or cheesy jokes or goofy side plots. Being a robot's not so bad. From where I'm sitting, it is a nightmare. Who thought that putting this bucket brain's head on me was a good idea? Why do you exist? And it just feels like a fun adventure with some cool graphics and music. But Sonic Lost World, it really does feel like it's just pandering to little kids, which is a shame. Even when something important is happening, like Tails getting kidnapped or the life-sucking machine being activated, it doesn't feel like anything is happening. Because it's all just written like a really bad kids cartoon. There's even a scene where Tails is turned into a cyborg with an arm cannon, and in the next scene, he just isn't! They just drop it, completely! Like, nothing in this game has any point! And, good lord, the dialogue. I've been itching for a fight all day! <laughs> I think you're itching because you need a bath! Huh? Ugh. Whew! That was cool! Pun entirely intended. <laughs> Actually, nothing bites more than having to listen to this dreadful conversation. Eggman! Hey, you, you bite! God! I'll supply the brains. You will supply the brawn I need to get past the Zeti. Oh, and you're asking so nice. <laughs> good one, buddy. <laughs> Thanks. What do you mean, good one? That was just saying something in an obnoxiously sarcastic voice. That's not a good one. Stop congratulating yourselves on your own shitty jokes. All right, all right, all right. Maybe I'm being overly harsh. I mean, there's got to be at least one decent line in there, right? I've been dreaming about pounding his sorry blue butt. Even about pounding his sorry blue butt. Okay, I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. So let's uh, let's maybe try a different scene. Let's try one more scene. One more. Oh, oh yeah, that's the stuff, Phoebe, baby. I'm feeling stronger by the second. Oh, Why just stop, boss? were too good for this world. Something's biting! <laughs> so yeah, on the whole, this game just feels like a mishmash of a ton of different elements that just don't work. The art direction is alright, I guess, though I think Generations made the classic art style look a little cooler in 3D. And the worlds feel very uncreative and tropey, which is a big departure from the norm. Even at its worst, the series usually had creative level themes and aesthetics, but here we just got Grass World, Desert World, Ice World, Lava World, etc. It's extremely disappointing to see a Sonic game use such conventional visual themes like this, when it's usually much more unique. I really expected something more imaginative from a game with Lost World in the title. Everyone's pointed this out, but it really does seem like it's just trying to be Mario. Which is especially evident in a few moments like, oh god, are you serious? The music is alright too, but it's definitely one of my least favorite soundtracks in the series. There's some great standout tracks for sure, like these. Just like the visuals, there's also a lot of tunes that sound kind of generic and uninteresting compared to previous Sonic games. Like here's the beach level music from Sonic Adventure. And here's the beach level music from Sonic Lost World. The one from Lost World sounds a lot more like stock beach level music to me, and it doesn't really grab my interest. Music is totally subjective, so maybe you disagree, but I, I definitely think the series has done a lot better. And that is pretty much all I got. I do not think Sonic Lost World is very good. At all. I know Sonic's an easy target these days, but really I'm only picking on him because I do want to see him do better. I think the series still has a lot of great elements that unfortunately games like this sort of leave on the wayside. I certainly don't think it's impossible to make a great 3D Sonic game, far from it. I just personally think they should take more cues from the original Genesis games. 
Hell, if you want to see how that would work, just check out this awesome fan game called Sonic Utopia. It's only a small demo at the moment, but honestly, I think it's the best 3D Sonic experience out there. It is a fantastic proof of concept, and I highly recommend trying it out. Link's in the description. But as for now, I'll just have to hope that someday the Sonic series gets back on track and gives me the big comeback that I've been waiting for. Someday. My god, this music, it makes me want to, it makes me want to walk down the street like a cool person!